All right, so here we have a little word problem where we have to use Pythagorean theorem. And there's two parts, so let's go ahead and look at it. So for part A, it says a wheelchair ramp with a length of 122 inches has a horizontal distance of 120 inches. What is the ramp's vertical distance? All right, well, let's, let's draw a picture. All right, so the ramp is 122 inches and it has a horizontal distance of 120. So let's go ahead and draw the ramp in and here's the vertical distance and there's your ramp. All right, so what we have is the ramp has a length of 122 inches. So that means this would be 122, okay? Or 122 inches and then the horizontal distance is 120 so that's the horizontal is that's from here to here so that's 120 inches and this is a right triangle okay and we got it so we got a right angle here and we want to know the vertical distance of the ramp so we'll call that X well we know that the Pythagorean theorem if we have a right triangle, okay, and let's say this is A, B, and C, we know that C squared is equal to A squared plus B squared, okay. C is the hypotenuse, okay. C squared, th this side, whatever letter they use, you, you can use X, Y, and Z or whatever, but the hypotenuse, that's the side opposite the 90 degree angle. So it's going to be the hypotenuse squared is equal to this leg squared plus this leg squared. And there's your Pythagorean theorem. Okay. So now here we can see the hypotenuse is 122 inches. That's the side opposite the 90 degree angle. So that means we've got 122 squared is equal to this leg squared plus this leg squared. All right. And so that is going to give us 14,884 equals, and that's going to be 14,400 plus x squared. And then what do we do? We sub got to subtract this to both sides. And so that's going to give us, and I'm going to write the x squared over here, and then whatever I get here, which is four, oh, 484. And so that tells me x is equal to the square root of 484, or x is equal to negative square root of 484. We have to use the square root property, so remember it's plus or minus. So x is equal to 22, or x is equal to negative 22. Well, we know it's not going to be this because the vertical height of the ramp can't be negative. It has to be positive. And so the vertical height of the ramp, that's the 22, and that is inches. All right, now let's look at part B. It says construction laws are very specific when it comes to access ramp for people with disabilities. Every vertical rise of one inch requires a horizontal run of 12 inches. Does this ramp satisfy the requirements? All right, so we know that this height here is 22 inches. So for every one inch I go up, I have to come out 12 inches. Okay, and then if I go up another inch, I've got another 12 inches. Well, how many one inch intervals am I gonna have? Well, 22, right? And for each one, I've gotta come out 12 inches. So what does that horizontal distance need to be? Well, it needs to be the, what? The 22 inches, right? Because there's 22 of these one inch intervals so it's the 22 times and then for each one inch I've got to go 12 so I got to go 22 times 12 which is 264 
inches. Okay, so that's that's what the horizontal length should be. But what is it? It's actually just 120. So this does not meet the requirements. Okay. All right, so I hope this video helped. Check out my other videos. Give me a like, share, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.